a phone site station. So I'm going to show you really quickly how you can add in a carousel within one of your phone sites pages. That way you can have uh, two, three, four, however many images you want uh, for someone to be able to page forward between those images. So let's go ahead and create a new website here. So this is going to be carousel demo. All right, let's create this. Voila, there we go. All right, um, image. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And my awesome carousel demo. Cool. Okay, now I'm gonna be putting some text, or sorry, some code into the subheadline field. And then I'll drop some into the settings custom code section here. So let's go ahead and drop in the custom code since I'm already here on this tab. So I already have the code uh, saved elsewhere in Notepad. Um, <laughs> that way I don't have to sit here and type all of it out. Um, that would take forever, right? Uh, and I would definitely make mistakes. So I'm going to copy, and I will give you this code, but I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this code right here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, perfect. I'm at the end there. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to drop this over into custom code. And I guess while I'm here, I'm going to not interrupt Druby with his Friday evening, whatever he's got going on. So let's save that. And then let's hop on over to the design tab. And then I'm going to go over to Notepad real quick. And I've got this other section of code that I actually need to drop into the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. So that's pretty easy, right? All right. And I'm just gonna put this into my subheadline field here, right? Now, I'm gonna give you the same code, but you're gonna to need to make two slight changes. Um, what you're gonna to need to do is, see where I have in here these uh, pound signs replace with image URL? you're gonna to need to replace with the URL for the image that you're looking to use. So I, I already deleted the um, uh, the image block, didn't I? So let's just add that back in there, that way we have this in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna upload a couple images in here. And let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, that way, once I upload it, I can grab the URL and then drop it into this section right here. So let's do that. So let's just grab this picture here and let's see, save, uh, save image as, save. <laughs> so that image uh, saved on hard closer, hardcore closer was Ryan Steven badass. So 100% accurate. Let's find two more pictures here. Uh, let's get his YouTube pic. Actually, you know what? I should be getting pictures that are of the same size. Uh, it would look a heck of a lot better if I were to do that. 1280 by 720. Save in Jens. Max res default. Save. Let's see. Was that awesome? No, that was 900 by 500. Eh, it'll be close enough. We'll see how this looks. I actually, when I did this before and... Uh, created just like a little quick demo to drop into a comment when someone was asking a question. Um, I had, I had, uh, did images that were all the same size, 1280 by 720. So it looked perfect, but we'll see how this looks in terms of the fact that these are gonna be different image sizes. All right, uh, let's see, save image as, save. Okay, let's go over here and let's add in these images. All right, downloads, and let's see. Did I put them in my downloads folder? Or did they go to desktop? There we go. They went to desktop. Okay. Uh, of course, it will only let me upload one at a time. Bear with me for a second as we upload each one of these.
All right, so let's go ahead and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and grab that and I'm going to right click this and then copy image address. And I'm just going to save this real quick. So what I'm doing is I want to have these addresses saved. So that's image one. And then let's go back to gallery. And I'm going to go back to image two here. Right click and then save image as. Oops, that's not what I meant. Um, copy image address, that's what I need. And let's drop in that URL right there. All right, and let's go back to gallery. And let's get the link here for the third image. Okay, copy image address, go to notepad. All right, perfect, I got all three of those now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna X out of that because I don't want the image to actually show up there. I'm just kind of cheating here. I'm using this block here to upload my images and then grab the URLs. I'm gonna get rid of this now. Delete. Okay, now let's go back into our subheadline. Let me save this. And let's refresh this. All right, so we got our code in here. Now I need to replace where I get the pound signs replaced with image URL, right? So I already have uh, this last image here still saved in cache, but let's go ahead and just copy that. Just to be safe, right? Okay, let's drop this in here. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to put Control V, paste that image URL in here. Let's go back and get the other two. Uh, pound sign, replace image with URL. Make sure to get all of these pound signs and leave in the quotes. So um, ahead of the actual URL that I'm putting in there, you can see there's a quote right in there. And then at the very end of this very long URL, uh, there should be a quote symbol there, double quotes. So make sure that you have those in there. Okay, got that in there. And then let's go grab this URL here. So I know I did it backwards. I went from the bottom to the top. And then over here, I'm going from the top to the bottom. Bear with me. Okay, let's replace this one right here. All right, now don't let all this code scare you. There's only really just a couple things that you're replacing. You're replacing that, uh, the pound sign replaced with URL, um, image URL, and then one other thing you're gonna replace in here if you want caption. So what caption is going to be is uh, if you want within the image itself, like if you wanted some text to show up down here, uh, like if you wanted to put like Ryan Steven Badass or something like that, you could, that's gonna be your caption. So you would need to replace right here where I have percent signs and then replace with caption. So I'm just gonna leave it as is, and you're gonna see how this is gonna look, and then we can go back in and edit here in a second. Okay, should be good now. Let's go ahead and save this. And I'm curious to see how this is gonna look in fact, in terms of how the images are different sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and control, and then click on view there. So I've got my images appearing. So there we go. So now we've got uh, our carousel added in here, and you got these little arrows so that you can page forward or backwards uh, for your images. So let's go and do that. As you can see right here, it's kind of hard to see because the white text, but this would be where the caption would go. And you don't have to have that in there. You could easily just delete this. And in fact, let's just go ahead and do that. I'll show you how that looks. Delete that, select save, and then let's refresh this. And I like it better where it doesn't have the caption in there. You could, of course, put something down here if you want. You can put, uh, you'd need to put your copy down here, of course. But okay, let's go ahead and page forward through this. See how this looks. Actually, it doesn't look too bad in terms of the image sizes. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Um, now let me go ahead and I'm just going to change the caption on that last one so you can see how this is going to look. All right, save that, and let's go refresh this. <clears throat> and then let's page forward. Perfect, 
So there's our caption. The caption looks good on this picture. It's easier to see. It's not going to look so great on these other two images. So I could, of course, get rid of those. Looks pretty good, right? So you can keep paging four through these as much as you want, or you can go back this way. And so this would work pretty well for maybe like a maybe like an e-commerce page if you wanted. Maybe you could use Gumroad. So you could use Gumroad to uh, embed this into a phone sites funnel and turn this into um, where you could record payment um, or capture payment for a digital product or a, uh, a physical product or even a service that you wanted to sell through your phone sites funnel. But as you can see here, how they're using kind of like a carousel going on right here. You can do the same thing here with uh, product images, just like you see on like maybe like Amazon or something like that. 